uh, I finally got around to actually calibrating uh, my old uh, Hickok DC millimeter, and it was actually quite a bit off. It was almost um, uh, its true reading was almost twice what was displayed. So I've gone ahead and marked the true reading there, and I've also compared it to the Centex. So what I've got here is I have uh, a couple of resistors. I have a 200 ohm resistors in parallel and uh, they actually measure 54.3 ohms and then this is a 0.3 ohm resistor here in series with that uh, so that gives a total resistance reading of 54.6 and then it turns out that the DC millimeter has a 10 ohm internal resistance and this one uh, in the ammeter mode has a 1.8 ohm resistance Okay. So what I've done is I've used the regulated um, power supply here to put in a steady voltage across that, that resistance and the ammeters are in series. Everything is in series. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. So then what, I, what I've done is I ran up the voltage the total circuit resistance up here is 66.4 ohms, right? Uh, and that is also accounting for all of the leads and everything. So then I used the regulated power supply to run up, and then I calculated via Ohm's law what the resistance, what the current should be, and then I wrote down the readings from the Cheapo Centec and the Hickok, and then I put a calibrated marker on the Hickok at a close value to the to whatever the Ohm's law reading was okay so I think as you can see that the Centec is tracking almost perfectly with the Ohm's law reading the Centec is only only starting to be off at the very very high end of its 200 milliamp range okay and even at the very high end of the 200 milliamp range it's only a little over a milliamp off there right Million, uh, one and a half milliamps difference. The Hickok, of course, was quite a bit off, but now I've calibrated it, so it reads very close to what the true value is going to be uh, if you look at the numbers that I actually wrote up there. Okay. Now, here's the test. That's a 0 0.3 ohm resistor right there, and I'm looking across it with the oscilloscope. Okay, so this is a, essentially a current viewing resistor of very low value. So on the oscilloscope, we'll be looking at the voltage drop across that resistor. Okay, so let's see what it is. So here I've got the channel grounded. So the baseline is right on that gradical, center gradical marker right there. Okay, and now I'll turn the channel on. And you see how that, focus, damn it. You see how that line jumped up. Now, I'm reading that as 0.6 of a major division. Okay, up. So that's 6 tenths of a, one major division. And we are at 0.005 sorry about the light, 0 0.005 with a 10x attenuating probe, so that's 0 0.05 volts per division. 0 0.05 volts per division, right? And we're at 6 tenths of a division up. So, uh, 0 0.05 volts per division times 6 tenths of a division is 0 0.03 volts. And then computing the current taking into account the 0 0.3 ohms of the resistor, we get 100 milliamps, or one-tenth of an amp, which is in pretty good agreement with what the meters are saying. Okay, Not bad for eyeballing a reading off a scope set at its very, very, very most sensitive uh, range, and, a, and less than one full division even. Okay. So that's how you do current calibration using a regulated voltage source, Ohm's law, known resistances, 
and that's how you read current from an oscilloscope okay so let's try another another setting here let's uh, crank up the voltage until we get to oops so we get to 155 on the Hickok, okay? So now, the oscilloscope is showing just below one full division. Let's call it 0 0.9. 0 0.9 of one division. Okay, so one division, one division is 0 0.05 times 0.9 of one division equals 0 0.0045 divided by 0.3 the voltage or rather the uh, ohmage and that gives us 150 milliamps 155 153.2 just eyeballing this 150 okay 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 calibration. Thanks for watching.